Ocarales had a farm. Ia, Ia, O. Boop. Yo, guys. <laughs> it's Kerales. And welcome back, everybody, to Hermitcraft Mod Sauce with me, Kerales. So, what did we do in the previous episode? We did a carrot farm and we made it work, all right? But it looked really derp. So, what I did, I went through all the comments and suggestions from you guys and I made something like this. This is just a starter, right? But I think it looks pretty nice. We got some fences here, which is the carpeted blocks barriers. I like them. It looks really awesome with some grass on top. Then I made a little elevation as you can see here. I used the carpet as collapsible blocks, kind of bashed them out a bit, put some grass and then we used some stone below here. And then just planted some bushes, some wheat or barley, uh, some grass and everything. And I think that looks pretty nice. And a tree, of course. And this is, this is something for decoration, all right? Uh, I know you get a lot more power if you put them high up in there, but this is just for decoration. They move really slowly at this point, but I think they look quite nice up here on the little concrete bank of some type. I like that. And also here I purified, as you can see, that's the same elevation which goes over here, can just continues here for now. And here we're gonna have something, something where we're gonna have some fish farms down here in, in a later stage, right? So I'm gonna figure that out, but for now, it looks something like this. And we can even look at this. I mean, I know it kind of looks like derp. It's kind of like really steep, but but it's just here for the looks, all right? But I like it. Also, this farm is fully automated now, all right? Well, you got the carrots in here, 2.5K carrots. I take that. This here, the fertilizer is just automated. So the poop comes from that pipe over here from inside of the house into this machine. So if you just turn it on here, as you can see, it's gonna be working. Perfect. If we check this, this should be refilling by default. See? Bam! And it freaking works, and I'm really happy. This crate here, or this deep storage unit, is gonna be into my warehouse later on, so don't worry about that at this point, alright? But let me know what you think, guys. I know I kinda like, you know, derp a lot here and there. I mean, I use barrels for no reason whatsoever just to look pretty you know i just that's the details i guess you know i know some people are like you do the drums for just decoration but you know what i liked it i like it i like it and also the poop escalator might be offline now let me just see is there any poop coming no poop coming i might have turned turn it off to be honest also i killed a bunch of cows because the cows oh look at this i found this a cat statue i think it looks pretty so i'm gonna keep it for now i killed like 100 50 cows or something because it was just too crowded you know what i don't really need that much poop i mean we got it's offline 49k at this point we're gonna need a lot in the future but for now i'm happy about it all right and in today's episode all right so the plan is sorry for the long introduction here but i just wanted to show you guys a little progress we've made all right and let me just see here, have we done anything here? No. You know what, this is something I'm gonna be using. Those little XP drains. I know they're meant to be an XP drain, all right? Look at this little path. It looks so pretty and beautiful. But I got I got a little uh, thingy down below here, which is the, the cauldron. And guys, this is not for me gathering XP. This is just to make it look pretty and it's kind of like, you know, just, just for decoration, all right? So don't rage. But this is what I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking of setting up some query quarries in, in the mining world and then just because I need materials because whenever I need something I need to go to mine so it would be pretty convenient having everything in stock all right so what I thought whoops I crashed but what I was thinking is to get into applying logistics because one thing which I hate is to go through chest after 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 chest just to find my freaking items i hate that so it would be so awesome and so convenient to have everything in one place so today's episode will be all about apply energetics and it's freaking hard i tell you i've started you know what but we're gonna go from the beginning by the way we got power in here and we got some stuff as you can see and this might be my future to be warehouse don't worry i'm gonna purify it later on but what I did to start this mod is to get out in the overworld and find myself some of those Certus Quartz Crystals. And you can also find the charged ones, alright? Those are quite common, 
Those are quite hard to find. Well, not really hard, hard, but they are rare, I guess. But you can actually make them using this machine, which is called the charger. And the recipe for this looks something like this. Some iron is no problem. Iron is really easy. Then we got the flux crystals or the pure flux crystals. The pure ones are a pain to find, right? But those ones, the flux ones, are pretty easy. And let me show you how to make them. What we do is to pick up uh, some redstone. We're going to use some nether quartz. And then we're going to use one of those charged crystal things. All right. So we actually need to find two before we can make the machine, the charged ones. All right. Then you just go out here into the water. And what you do, you just throw the stuff in here. And as simple as it is. Look at it. We got some redstone. We got this. Oops, redstone. Get in the water. As you can see, it's kind of starting to like do some sparks in here. Throw this. And bam, it makes two of those flux crystals. And then let us build this machine now. So now we got the charger. So if we put, let me see here. If we put the Certus crystals in here like this, and then just crank it on the wooden crank, which we can easily make, after a little while, it starts sparkling around here. Hopefully. Is it charged? Ba bam now the one is charged so that is kind of how i started out all right and then i was like hey okay when i started this on the feed the beast back in the day i know there was something called the me controller right i'm not really sure this is what we need to start with but i thought yay let's do it but then i saw this we need like sky stone and like what the hell we need the pure flux crystals which are really tough to make at this point in like an earlier game Thing here all right then we need this the engineering processor and i was like hey i can maybe make stuff like this doesn't look that hard you just put in some diamond but then you need something like inscriber engineering press and i was like what the hell what the hell is this all about all right so what i did i've made this inscriber first which is quite simple let me just show you inscriber beep, 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 beep. looks like this it is just one of those flux crystals the, the cheaper ones the just the flux ones right some iron and some sticky pistons and that created that the only thing that acquire requires is some power so i was like yay i'm good to go but then i was like hey i need those inscriber thingies because without them i can't create the thingy the amy controller thingy let me show you what i mean this one here the things here because we need an engineering processor so i was like hey where do we get them and they are quite easy to get to be honest if i just bring up my map and i'm going to show you guys we got those little meteor uh, uh craters all over the place you can see here we got one here on the map we have one over here then we have one over here and for those people being like flying about a bit, it's really easy to spot from just looking at the map. You can kind of see those black dots, all right? And by the way, let me show you one up close. And it looks like this. I mean, you can't miss it. It is absolutely humongous. And look at this, by the way. On my way here, I found a Steve statue. That could be a scarecrow in my, in my carrot farm. That's awesome. But as soon as you find one of those guys, you would kind of take some of the sky stone to begin with and then if you just dig down in the middle here you will eventually end up finding one of those sky stone chests inside of those usually you can find like one or more one of those uh, press things all right so you just pick them up and then just continue to the next one but i mean to miss them it's impossible it is impossible it looks huge so now we know how to find them all right but as you can see here, on this ME controller, we need one printed silicon and one printed engineering. And that is what I found. I have one inscriber engineering press and one silicon. So basically what you do, you just go into the inscriber, put this thing here, just check the recipe. And I know that one required one diamond. So we're just going to put in one diamond here. And that should just fill up. As soon as that is connected to power, it should charge up pretty quickly, to be honest. And bam now we got this take out this put in the silicon one and the silicon one requires silicon of course so what i did i created a sog mill as you can see here and what i do in this connected to power i'm just using some sand i put some sand in the sog mill and that 
grinds it down and eventually ends up finding some silicon. Bam, silicon ball. So take the ball, go into this, silicon, bam, this should charge up and now we got the other one. But this is not done yet. As you can see, that is an engineering processor. So now we need to combine those two with a redstone. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to pick up a redstone here. Go back to this guy here. Put this guy here. Put the diamond guy here. Redstone in the middle. This is so should start charging up. And now, behold everybody. We got the engineering processor. So previously I was like, yay, now I can make the Amy controller. Uh -uh. I got the sky stone, as you can see here, from the, from the, from the meteor. Uh, so that is perfectly fine. But then I need those pure flux crystals. And I was like, hey. I click it and it's like, drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand into a puddle of water to make it process faster at crystal growth accelerators. And I was like, holy shit, how do we do it? But this is actually pretty simple. It just takes so much long, so much time. So what we do, we take our flux crystals to our quartz grinding stone. We put it in and then just crank and crank and crank some more. This is so ghetto, by the way, but I love it. So let me see. As you can see, that grinded down two of those into two of those flux dust. So now what we just do is combine this with some sand and that creates some flux seeds, four of them. So the only thing we need to do is throw them into a pile of water. And as you can see, I have already some cooking here and this is not working. I've added that, but since I don't have any Amy network, this doesn't really work and it takes a lot of time. So if I just pick some of them up, because some those here in here, as you can see, those guys here are at 16%. They've been in water for like one hour. Those guys are on 16, those guys are on 17, and 17 on some nether quartz seeds. I was just trying out stuff, all right? So that means without having this machine here, it takes absolutely, absolutely forever to grow them, just to create one of those things. And I was like, holy crap, this is gonna take some time. So I haven't still created that, but what I thought, I mean, there's a bunch of people on the server which has got to have this activated. So I think we're going to start visiting some people on the server. Let's go to Sleepy Gator's place, maybe. And behold, the Super Puddle 9000 MK3. Not really sure how this works. Or if this is just connected and it's going to steal my items, but you know what? doesn't matter. Let's see, if I put my fluke seeds in here, they are dropping into the water and they're gonna be growing a lot quicker than in my base, I tell you. Look at that. He's got four of those, no, three of those and they're just sparkling about. Where's my seeds at? I can't even see them anymore. Are they in here? Are they done? Hmm. <laughs> Dang it. Where do I see them? You know what? Let me figure this out. Okay, so I removed one of the blocks. All right, I'm sorry. I don't grief, but I kind of want to see what's going on in here. And you can see down there, they're just boiling about. And they are growing so freaking quick. That is absolutely nuts. He's got four of those. He's so pro. So you know what? Let me just see how long it's going to take until this is done. I shit you not, that took one and a half minute and now they are gone. I have no idea where they are, but you know what? There's got to be somewhere about in the systems here. So let me, oh, here's something. Is you? Let me see here. Crystal. 2K. You know what? One, two, three, and four. I think that is pretty legit. 4K? Are you kidding me? Well, that's insane. Let's go back to base. And now we should have everything we need to create our first piece, like real piece, the Emmy controller. You know what? Not sure why you no work with, with the shift or doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let me just take a look at the recipe. So we got crystal, 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 the pure ones. We got a sky stone, sky stone, sky stone, and sky stone, and this in the middle. Behold, everybody, we got an Emmy controller. I'm going to pop it down here. So I can't even click it. Maybe it just requires some power. You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I think we need to just call in a professional on this. But now we know the basics at least. So hopefully you guys could like kind of follow along 
with the noob and kind of learn the basics of this, I guess. Uh, let's call in a professional on this. Holy moly! Connected with power! This bad boy glows! It is so freaking pretty! But let's await the professional and the judgment. Never go AFK with Keralis around. The thing is, I could be standing here trying to kill him forever and he doesn't lose any health whatsoever. I suck at this. And we have a professional at our hands. Hello, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy, King Diddy, Mac Daddy. What's up, buddy? Dude, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. What are you do? What's this over here? This is Applied Logistics, and guys, you know what, we've been, we've been crafting this for 15 minutes, and now this pro come, come here, <laughs> he comes here and says, you don't need that, and I'm like, hey, and also, the grindstone, we just learned, because you can use, just use the pulverizer, dude, I didn't even know, where is my pulverizer, there we go, can I just throw the, the things in here, and it's going to pulverize them, is it working, I hope it works, yay, it works! No way, that is amazing. So everybody, <laughs> this is an easy way to do it. So King Diddy, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy Diddy, how do you like my how do you like my poop farm? I love it. You it like just blows my mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so the coolest thing on the server. I could just sit here and watch it for days. The poop. Mm -hmm. uh, you should just, you should watch the poop excavator outside instead. Have, oh. Dude, have you, do you want a straw? You can actually taste the poop. If you, uh, you can do that later on. I watched you do that. I, oh. You're not tricking me into getting all that nausea and stuff. It's like chocolate milk. Right. Uh, <laughs> chocolate milk, sure. <laughs> all right, everybody. Now comes the question. Mac Daddy, this, will, this week, which we created here, the Emmy controller, this is going to be used for later stages, right? Mm -hmm. This is just so we can connect more things to it, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what is the first step we need to craft, all right? I'm ready at the crafting bench. Okay, so you are going to want an energy acceptor so we can get some energy an into this. Energy acceptor. Everybody, behold, energy acceptor, right? Mm -hmm. energy a so basically what that is that is one of those crystals some iron and some quartz glass uh, quartz glass is pretty easy peasy mode that's just some of the dust we just grinded and some no more glass right mm -hmm. the problem is i can't really auto craft some stuff it looks like you're auto crafting to me this is the corralis auto crafter we call this ke <laughs> <laughs> There we go, everybody. We got some glass. So let me see. The energy cell, basically what this just needs is just iron. So can we auto-craft this guy then? Mm -hmm. Come on, KE. Let me use my KE remote. No, we can't. Why can't we do you then? This is always, always in my videos. This is the derp factor. This is what I do. I notice sometimes it works with normal crafting tables and it won't work with the crafting stations, the shift clicky one. Yeah, I, I know, right? Okay, we got it, buddy. All right, nice. Okay, I pop so it down. Where do I pop it down? You can pop that one down right here if you want. Back here. Right, right there. Yep, there. Right, right in between. All right, bam. There we go. Bam. All right, so this is getting power from this guy over here. Yeah. All right, so now you have power into your system. Yes. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want is a cable. I've got cables. Cable. I've made some cables. There we go. Glass cables. Sweet. Yep. Okay. So why don't you connect next to this guy, one of the cables. Uh, this guy here. Yep. Do you want to have it there or do you want to have it over here? You know what? On the side would be better. I like it on the side. There we go. This is just okay. for, this is this is just to try it out. This is not going to be looking like this in a later stage. Just for your information. All right. So now what? Next, why don't we do your drive? ME drive. ME drive. Let me take a peek on the ME drive. How hard is this to make? I think we might have everything needed for it. ME drive, right? Mhm. Mm there we go. So basically what that requires is energy processors. We've I've I've told people how to make them. Some iron and some cables. So I mean that is easy peasy squeezy. I hope. Nice, nice, nice. Bam, bam. Some iron. I'm not. I'm not even gonna shift click this because this doesn't work. <laughs> and some cables on the sides. I got the nice Emmy drive. You got it. And then just put it here. Yep. All right. Next, we need your. We need something to store the stuff in. So this is like your computer case, and then you got to put in your hard drives. How many of those guys can you have? Like unlimited you can access. Have up to ten. 
Okay, just 10 on, on this side here of this core, right? Oh, you can have 10 hard drives inside of this, but you can have eight different things coming out of the side of the controller. Actually, 32, but this cable only does eight. If you get this cable, you can do 32. That's the 32 cable, and then this one here is the eight cable. I take, yeah. I take eight for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade you a little upgrade. This is called smart cable. How much does that do? Um, what that does is see how it has that little line on it. Yeah. It shows you how many of your signals you're using. So right now, see, so you have one thing connected, so it's using one signal. Hmm. Which line? There's a bunch of lines on yep, this. Yep. Yep, the bluish line. Oh, do you have a texture pack on? Oh, yeah, you mean that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you mean the little blue line? Yeah, that little blue line. So that's just, it says you're using one thing. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And now comes the drives. What are they called? Those ones are a pain in the butt to make. Storage drive. Sto mm -hmm. Storage something, right? They were called the M ME storage cell. Okay, so let me just make 1K once, or no, 4K maybe. 4K, 4K, let's make 4K. Is that enough? How much can you store mm -hmm. on a 4K, by the way? Um, about 4K. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, I can't I can make it. I wish you had a little thingy recipe next to it. The you could do a bunch of 1Ks too, if that's so cheaper. 1K, you can always 1K. Well, I've, I've, ma later. I've made some stuff. I've made the one components at least. So let me just see okay. if I just go to 1K. So basically there's 1K component, some glass and some redstone. So I mean, I think if we just make, if we just make one of those 1K, just to show mm -hmm. people, oops, just to show people how, how it's done and uh, not like this people. Sorry, don't watch this. Some Eden and then the 1K in the middle, right? Okay, that creates 1K. Mm -hmm. So I've got one of those guys. And how, okay. how much items do you think I can store on this guy? It can only hold 63 different types, but then depending, uh, and, but you can put a whole bunch of any type. So go go grab a bunch of, what do you have a bunch of, poop? Oh yeah, go I got, grab I got a whole lot of poop. Let's <laughs> fill it up with poop. I got tons of poop. Let me just grab some poop. I don't want to have a poop on the hard drives <laughs> though, but yeah, okay, okay, okay. I take it, buddy. Well, it is a crappy system, you know, so. Yeah. You know what system. we forgot? We got to make we got to make the monitor so that we can put it in. Oh, okay. And what is that called? That is we're going to make the crafting monitor. ME crafting terminal. ME craft. There we go. ME crafting terminal. It's a bit mm. oh, great. <laughs> and now this now I got a bunch of formation annihilation the illuminated panel. Oh, you gave me those. All right. So let me just see here. So first we're going to do is the monitor itself. So that is annihilation core. And it is basically mm -hmm. some quartz, some Fluix dust, and the logic processor, which is made in this guy over here, the inscriber, right? Mm -hmm. So that is, that is kind of easy mode. So that is something we have stuff for, I think. So basically logic processor, an illumination panel like this guy here, which is basic quartz glass, some glowstone, redstone, glowstone, and iron. I mean, stuff like this is pretty cheap, cheap to make. That, that is not expensive whatsoever. So let's make this guy. So what I've got here, I've got the panel, I've got the formation, I've got the annihilation, and I've got the logic processor. That creates that Amy terminals. Basically what we need for this is put this here in a crafting bench of all types, all right? And then the last thing we need for that is the logic processor, not the calculation processor. Bam, I've got it. Oh yeah. Where do I put it? All right, so you can put it on any wire um, either one of these two wires. Yep, perfect. This so. is awesome. Okay, and then I just threw in my poop in there, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't really want to have poop on my hard drives. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we dump out this chest, put everything in this chest into here. Let's see if it all fits. Okay. It's stored. Yeah, you're done, man. That's it. For real? Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, okay, we got the basic system set up. King Magdad, King Magdad, DD. Mm -hmm. What would be the next step for me to do? Like, I can fill with drives, of course, but if I want to go, like, yay, I'm going to go pro with this guy, what would be the next step to it? Um, You could make it wireless and get, if you get a security system, you can make it wireless. Okay, so that is kind of professional. I like that. And then you could be working over in your barn, in your fields, 
and then be able to just grab stuff right in out of your system. That would be pretty good. Then after that, you want to get into maybe auto crafting, um, stuff like that. But we got the basic covered at least. Yeah, this this is ninety nine percent of AE right here. Storage. So if I just take out my drive, I can just pop, 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 and go back. Mm -hmm. Can people steal my drives? Um, if you put on a security system, nobody can touch it unless you give them permission. Hmm. This is so helpful, by the way. Thank you so much, King Mac. Yeah, no problem, buddy. So basically what I need to do is create a lot of those storage drives now. Mm -hmm. How expensive is the expensive one? The They're pretty one. expensive. They're pretty expensive. Let me see. 64 is this guy here. So what this guy acquires. Eden, not a problem. Redstone, not a problem. Quartz, not a problem. And this. Holy sh... Okay, the, <laughs> the processor is not a problem. Then this... Okay, so it basically just requires the 1K, then the 4K, then the 16K, and so on and so on. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's pretty That's expensive. That's pretty much it. It's it's just combining them. Now, you can, once you... If you make all 1Ks, mm -hmm. you can later on upgrade them. Oh, so I can... Out of room. Is there a special upgrade thing? Does um, it cost us? Does it like, is it called anything? Um, you have nothing, you have stuff in there. Um, if you take everything out, back out of it, yeah. um, I can show you how you take it out of the disk drive and you can use it to combine. Or actually, make, do you want to make a new one? Make a new one and I'll show you. Okay, so hold that in your hand. Yeah. And if you press shift, right click, watch what happens. It's a storage house. In. So now the, the little drive inside popped out. So once you run out of room, you can do that oh. and then combine it to make more, to make it bigger. How do I combine them back? Can I just... Okay. You just put them both together in your crafting grid. Oh, so you mean like I don't have to like take out all, all the crap. So basically what I do is just shift click this guy mm -hmm. and then just put this guy in, in the next upgrade. Exactly. Oh, that is convenience. I was like, oh my God, I need to <laughs> empty the whole shablang and it's going to take forever. Now, if you do that, when there's stuff in it, it deletes all the stuff. So you have to empty it first before you do that. Uh-oh. I hope you didn't do the new, the one with all your stuff. For real? No, you didn't. You didn't. That's, yeah. So you want to empty it first. And there's a special machine for emptying them. I can show you that later. But that's once you get up to that. Okay, we're going to get there eventually, I guess. But dude, I'm not going to keep you longer. Thank you so much for the help. Here's your no problem, dance buddy. cable. Oh, thank you. I'm sad, everybody. And now I can just throw in crap in this guy and I don't have to go through st st like chest after chest after chest after chest after chest. Oh, that's good. Hey, <laughs> hey, look at your cable. It shows there's two things now. Yeah, I know. That changed. Because you added the crafting terminal. And how many was there on each side? Eight, You can right? get eight. Those cables do eight. The the dense ones, those do thirty two. I don't have to I don't I don't want to have the dense ones. The small ones are pretty. Mm-hmm. I like them. Dude, this looks You're absolutely good. amazing. Thank you so much. Everybody. If you haven't seen King McDaddy McDaddy, check him out. I mean he's oh, a mods as professional. <laughs> do you want me to hit you this time? No, don't do it. Okay, once. Oh. I die. It's a sad, sad day at the farm. I died and lost everything. I got killed by that King Magdaddy, 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 Didi. <laughs> no, he's not evil. Thank you so much for the help, guys. But yeah, I died. And I shit you not, there was no gravestone. We looked here, we looked above, we looked below. Gravestone is gone. So basically, I lost all my stuff, all my tools. Uh, King Magdaddy had to go back to his base to get a new syringe with blood so I could be able to fly again. It was just crazy. But he was such a nice guy. He gave me this, the atomic dissembler thingy. I mean, this tool, everybody, it does everything. Cuts down things, digs things, everything in one tool. And you just need to charge it in one of those like nodes here. Just put it in here and it charges up. It's Awesome. Also, he gave me this thing here. Look at this, the matter transporter. Pep, shift click, put it here. Shift click, put it back. What a guy. Don't forget to check him out, guys. This should be a link in the description, all right? And we kind of purified this area a bit. As you can see, we put the energy acceptor up here. We connected that with the ME glass cable. And here, this guy is now working. And look at that. Bam. 
they're already done. And I'm like, what took it? Like five minutes or something. Absolutely awesome. Also, this guy is connected with power now, so we don't have to crank it. This guy here can actually do stuff like uh, he can grind uh, the cores and everything. We didn't think about that before the sog mill. That's pretty amazing. Then, also, as you can see, I got a new thing. Here is the Emmy chest. And what this Emmy chest does is, let me just take a drive here. Let me just take this 4K drive. I'm going to put it in from the side like this. And if I access it from the top here, I can take all the stuff out if I want to upgrade the drive. So, I mean, convenient. I think so. And also, for those people who like, like running cores and stuff, you can have the deep storage units like this. For example, I got this filled with dirt, right? Because you don't want to have like all the dirt and gravel stored on the hard drives because this is just going to take space. So what you do, you just extend the cable, put an Emmy storage bus on this guy and put dirt, for example. Go up here to priority, click it to 1000 or something, and then you're pretty much done. And you can still access it from this. Look at this, dirt, 70 dirt. Go in here, we got 64 plus 6, 70. Convenient? I think so, but thank you so much. So at least we got the basics. So now I got my little Emmy thing, storage thing here, and I can store all the stuff. So I'm just gonna be doing more hard drives, and then I'm gonna start purifying this area, build myself a little office, maybe with computers and stuff. I don't know. You guys give me suggestions, all right? So what should we do in this area? Because I kind of really want to have this to be my warehouse of some type. We're gonna have different floors here, so we're gonna be one floor about here, and then maybe even one extra floor about here, so we can have a few floors with stuff on you guys let me know but i think a storage area would be pretty decent because i think my house is going to be some about here in this area <laughs> this is going to be removed don't worry about it but anyhow thank you so much for watching this is kiralis i'm just leaving you with this this is mod sauce and i absolutely love it when i'm into a project i burn for the little project i've got going here so i mean like not burn that's kind of like yeah but i got a passion for it so i'm like really eager to record more mod sauce because i want to see progression being made so now that we got this going maybe in the next episode we can set up some quarry quarries and get all the items we can carry <laughs> thank you guys don't forget comment like and favorite and i'm gonna see you in the next episode oh hey squiddy can i kill stuff with it question is be or not to be squiddy squiddy <laughs> and i get raw squiddy awesome thank you and see you guys in the next one oh i love this look of it like from here the farm looks absolutely boss from here even better. Bye, guys.